Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm back, Layback Gamer, with another, well, a different video this time. Uh, so this is going to be the content I plan on covering for August, or at least an update on that. Didn't have one in July because, well, wasn't really too much to cover there. It would be basically the same thing as the June one. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to talk about the Elder Scrolls Legends, specifically the series, all the series that I have going on, plus a new one that I have plans for. Slowly implementing, slowly getting that all worked out. Just need the finer details to come together. I'm going to talk about the issues with Jack and Daxter 2 because there are some issues with the series. And not 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 saying it's anybody's fault. I think it's more my fault, really. But yeah, we're gonna talk about that, as well as potentially new games, maybe. We'll find out about that a little later on. And some future plans I have for this channel going forward. So, Elder Scrolls Legends. The Legendary Climb series. As of this it well really when I was originally creating this, this was I was still in rank four. I was still in rank five, seeing if I was going to get into rank four. So this, what this says is not correct. Uh, I forgot to make the edit on this one. My apologies. Um, since we didn't make it, and that's now determined, uh, I'm going to play through one more season before possibly putting it on hold. Likely continue the title hunter. Uh, the other thing that will make me put on hold is if we get a new big expansion where we have a bunch of titles added into the game and therefore we'll go after those. Is it likely going to happen? Uh, statistically, probably not. In the past, there hasn't been an expansion released in September. The one we got was actually at the beginning of December, so that's a bit of a long time to wait, but it, would, it wouldn't surprise me if that is the case. Title Hunter series. Very similar. <laughs> Could I just go back to what I said on the other one? Um, this series is going to be postponed for a while. There might be a possibility that I do do it, but it's not going to be because of that condition there. Um, when I do hit rank four, and this will happen. Actually, this is this is, this is pretty applicable for this video. So. Um, if I do manage to hit rank 4 this season, I'll take a break and continue this series. I'll try to see get to get some of the titles that I have happen to get, or at least show which is the best one, the best way to go at doing this. For example, well, you could see the, the destructive tile dealing it about 10,000 damage. I'll show you guys what's the most efficient way to do that. Or say, um, I don't know, uh, summon 300 Argonians. Go. Uh, just as another example. I'll be showing off some of the titles that I already have, which, you know, not ideal, but I'm running out of stuff to grind for. Well, stuff that's easy to grind for, but, but yeah. New series in the making. Um, so. Since about the beginning of this year, I've been toying with the idea of coming out with a new series where I make lore friendly decks that are hopefully fun and enjoyable to watch. While I'm playing with these decks, it's go I'm going to be doing some lore commentary over top of it, kind of explaining each card that I have. Some might have a little bit of story, like for example the Colovian Trooper has basically done. It's a Colovia troop from Colovia, but we might talk about, say, the Colovian Highlands, for instance. Red Brahmin himself, he's got a bit of lore to him, so we might end up talking a little more about him rather than, say, Black Marsh. I'm unsure if I'm going to play any with against anybody or if it's just going to be against myself, because I know if I'm playing against myself, I can take a little more time, explain things through. And, well, yeah, I, I'll have to do a bit of testing. I'll make a couple of test videos for this, but this is a series that I do plan on pushing out. When is it going to happen? Maybe closer to the end of August. I still need to collect, I still need to gather together some, a few cards, a couple, couple of epics, 
uh, commons and rares. I basically got everything that I need for that. But so, so I do need some cards in order to make this work out. But new series in the making, and I still have to think of a name for this. Now we're going to get into Jack and Daxter 2. The Issues is a great game. Don't get me wrong, this is a very fun game to play, and I've enjoyed it. However, there are a few things that are making this game less and less enjoyable for me. While I do love, I love the wet idea behind gathering weapons, I love the idea behind building up, you know, this, it, chipping towards this cause, it just feels too much, personally. Some of the main culprits behind, well, my dislike for this game, in addition to that, is the Zoomer races, slash collection, ba basically anything to do with a Zoomer. Even if it's just driving in a, just driving around from one place to another, it's a little annoying, and I don't want to walk there because it takes, it will take me forever and a year to get there on foot, and uh, I don't want to spend, you know, a few minutes in each, uh, like, I would say maybe, depending on, uh, uh, t roughly 10-15 minutes of just walking to one destination, oh, pick up a quest, now let's go walk back to another place, oh, finish there, let's go walk, it would basically be, I get the quest, I walk to the quest, I do the quest, probably fail a couple times, I walk back, get the reward, end the video. That's what it would be like if I were to walk there. And the hoverboard. Hoverboard, I, I'll admit, I think I, I this one's not as bad. Um, I did have a, one episode where I kind of raged at it a little bit. I'm not sure if I caught it on camera or if it was off camera. But I, I read it. It was, it was not a fun experience. And well, as I said before, before I feel like the story just doesn't develop as quickly. Like maybe it's because I'm used to a lot of games now, where the story is like, infinitely much more quicker. But take a game like Ratchet and Clank 2. That, granted, I grew up on that game, but it, it had a storyline. I actually felt like I was making progress. These missions, these little missions where I'm going place to place to place to place, to, I'm going from one place to the next, back to the next, back to the next, just going all over. I don't feel like I'm making any progress. Which is why I really enjoyed the boss fight there. It was just, I, I felt like I had made some progress that we were now infiltrating the Baron's palace and we got to fight him off. Now, is he dead? No, but story, took another it took a, a really big step in my opinion out that way some of you guys might disagree with me which by all means go ahead but I'm not sure if many people would disagree because as we go to the third point not many people watch the series I'm basing this on the view count my Elder Scrolls Legends series are getting quite a bit uh, I recently had one that had only one view but the ones before it were coming in at 28 7 8 16. I had one that had, at one point was 64. Now, there might be multiple people watching the video over and over again, or people accidentally clicking on it, but still, it, it shows, even if people are just accidentally clicking on it, it, it shows that people have an interest in that game. Elder Scrolls Legends. People are interested in that game. The fact that I don't have that many views for this, not many people are interested in it, so... That's, uh, it's a pretty, the, all three of these together make a pretty big defining issue, and the possible solution is one of two things. I post Jack 2 content less often, maybe once every three days, maybe once every four, no, just not as often. It'll give me time for, right now I have a, still have a few episodes left to go off of, which is okay. But afterwards, then I have to start making new content for that, and I'm not quite sure what, how I'm going to do it. Or B, I stop posting content altogether, which temporarily, give it a couple months, come back to the series after I've cooled off, maybe hop on on my own time on a new file and learn how to control the vehicles a lot better. So, in the comments, well, there's going to be a few things that I'll need you guys to do. 
but you're, this is one of the things. Let me know what you think is the best solution. What do you guys think? Let me know what you want to see. Come up with a different solution than what I got. Post in the comments section. And yeah, I'll take it into consideration. Honestly, I think I got fair solutions, but I think it, I think maybe someone will be somebody out there who's bound to have a better solution than what I've got. And if I I think it's a good a great solution, I'm gonna go with it. New games, maybe, slash new format. Maybe. Why am I doing this? Because I can? <laughs> All serious, no. I, I want to add another game to the roster of games that I currently do. Um, while I do love Elder Scrolls, playing Elder Scrolls Legends on camera, I also do enjoy my time off camera because it means that I can grind until my heart's content. Some nights, not too much, but other nights, yeah, I will. And I really want to cover some more games now that you know, so much that Elder Scrolls Legends is getting quite a few views on it. We're attracting people here. I want to just try to see if I can get more people to come in. I want, I want to see if I can get more people to come view, maybe subscribe, and that way, whenever say I go live stream or I upload a new video, it would, uh, you know, I, I'd, I'd have more people. There are more people, obviously means I might get discovered by well, even more people, more views, more likes equals the greater chance the greater chance that this might appear in somebody's suggested list. Any one of my videos. And I don't want to wait till the end of the PS2 games to finish. I calculated it out, and it's gonna take me a couple of years at this rate. I mean I started the series all the way, I think last year. And we're only on Jack 2. We've got a long way to go before I'm done, but I, I mainly made the, these PS, the PS2 games because, well, this is just continuous con it's just a continuous stream of contents, and it's games that I enjoy playing, for the most part, and well, I, I hope I'm doing something interesting that makes it decent to watch. Right, that's the next point. So, option one, I can jump right into Sly Cooper 2. And as well as having Jack and Daxter, or on uh, Jack and Daxter 2 on the go. While the camera quality would stay the same as the rest of the P PS2, I know this is a game that I've loved to watch. I've watched this game and watched this several times. Does it look hard, easy? Absolutely not, but I might be able to manage. I've also played this before a little bit, and I'm really dying to, to start this up. So, in the comment section, and I'd have vote option one, two, or three. This was option one. Option two, I play a uh, I'm now just realizing that I chose poor color for the text, but I can play a different game off my tablet. As there's also a few games on there I've been wanting to, co uh, to kind of cover. The quality of it, in terms of audio and camera, it might be just as well as the PS2 games. Audio and camera, which is to say, not that great. Unless there's a chance I can get that, I can say, put this compute, put this content. Like what, what I do with the TV is I hook my tablet up to a uh, HDMI a port using a uh, special cable that converts from the from what the iPad from what an iPad uses to connect uh, to charge. Connect that that to the HDMI cable, and the HDMI cable goes into the back of the computer, and I can go off of there. I'm one, yeah, and I can switch a channel and play it off of there. I'm, I'm wondering if I can get it to work for one of my for one of the monitors that I have, so that way it's I, that way I can connect it to the back and have OBS running on one screen as well as anything else I need on the other and play the game off of there. It would increase the quality by a lot, but I have to see if it's doable. I've looked into it a little bit. Uh, so far what i found, I haven't found anything supporting this, but if it's doable, then it will be much better quality than the other stuff. And if it's not, then well, it, it's going to be back to the old stuff. 
And the third option is I play another game off the computer. I have a few games on Steam, as well as some of the old games that I can play, including virtually just about any website game that I can, can run. Uh, another a couple of series I wanted to cover is, well, run a StarCraft, maybe an Oblivion, and play through Bloons Mon Monkey Tower Defense on online. Just a couple games. Uh, one that I'm currently playing right now that I can get online is Forge of Empires. What I'd do for that, I have no idea. I could come up with I'll just come up with it on the spot. Uh, there is a bit of a downside to this. Um, uh, the computer I'm currently using is a 32-bit processor, so I'm a little bit limited. Which means I can't really play games like No Man's Sky, but... My folks have a second computer that has a, that is much pow more powerful than the one that I use. So, I might be able to go off of that. Uh, it would require a little bit of editing on my end, which... I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm trying to learn. I'm not. I'm not great at it. I've had, had a couple of attempts. Not very good. And well, it, this is the first thing. This is the first thing that I've put that I've successfully put together. And while it's not like I, I'm not splicing audio with video, it, it at least it, it's the first thing that I've built from nothing. And am making a video on it. I guess technically not the first, but first as in like, yeah, you, you know what, let, let's just go. Tell me what you guys want to see. I want you to tell me your opinion and construct additional pilots. Future plans. What I'd like to do. So as of today, I'm still considering getting a laptop. I'm not sure if, if it would change anything any uh, alter the quality of what I've currently got going for anything on the computer. It might, it might not. I'll have to see. If it doesn't, then that's great. And it, is a, it allows me to do so much more. I can, say, make more content off of this. I might have a bit of better editing, editing because it's my, it'd be my laptop. I can, put it, I can put what I want on it when I start to take the first few steps into editing. And I can take this anywhere I want. Right now I'm limited to just off, off of a computer whose memory is almost full all the time. Needs a good cleaning, but... I, I can work on basically anything where, wherever I am if I get a laptop. Again, I'm still not certain if I'm going to get one, but I know it's... I, I'm strongly considering it. What else I'd like to do? I know I said I'd make thumbnails. I haven't... Well, technically, I have made a thumbnail for Jack and Daxter 2, but because the first few ones that, you, that YouTube made, I ended up liking a lot more than what I had, I went with it. Not going to be the case in the future. Uh, future, I'm going to try and get some... I'm going to try to get a thumbnail for the Legendary series, Title Hunter. Title Hunter, I have a, I have a, I have a couple of ones in mind. It's going to, it might be similar to the Title Hunter slide, just maybe a little more sporadic and around and legendary climb. I got, I got an idea what I'm going to do with that, and the new game that might be announced, depending on what you guys say. So, the comment section is below. I ask very nicely all the time. This time I, I really need your opinions in order to know where you guys want me to go with this. What do you want to see? Do you have any ideas for the channel? I'm a small channel. I'm trying to get off the ground a little bit. I'm finding a little bit of success with Legends. But I want to know what else can I do? I know getting a laptop would definitely improve. Uh, I don't have the kind of money lying around just to spend on building a computer, so a laptop would be the most ideal solution. And it's got other benefits for school-related stuff that I can use. But post what you guys think, 
you guys think and peek at the comment section below. Just as a recap, post uh, your opinion on Jack and Daxter 2, leave a comment on that if you want me to upload it less or stop altogether for now, or if you got a better idea, uh, either option 1, 2, or 3 for a new game, to, for a new series, new game series to be covered, and just, and just anything else in general you'd like to see. I'm open to suggestions. You suggest something in the comments, I will, I, I strongly take it into consideration. I'm great. Like I've always said at the end of my video, I'm probably really good at getting back to comments. I'll get back normally as quickly as I can. Sometimes work or sleep kind of interfere with getting back right away, but I mean, I try to be as, I try to get on to that as fast as I can, so I want to hear you guys' opinions, and yeah, thank you guys for watching, until next time, take it easy.